Now this is the web page that we're going to be encrypting today. And typical web page, uh, trying to sell you something on WordPress. Now down at the bottom here, and I'm Steve by the way, down at the bottom here is the typical payment button. This is my PayPal button that I've customized a little bit with my own created button. And as you may know, if you're familiar with PayPal, they offer two options on, on their payment buttons, one encrypted, one unencrypted. And I usually opt for the unencrypted version so that I can do some little finagling here and there and I end up encrypting it myself. And what I do is I use the software called HTML Guardian. You can pick it up at PROTWARE.com and it's fantastic. Now I've got the enterprise version or the paid version uh, just not fully installed yet. What I'm going to be showing you is the free version which you can get here by downloading the personal edition as they call it as you can see up here or you can pay the um, I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks to get the paid or I believe it's called the enterprise edition and the difference is the free version has the same bells and whistles works just fine uh, fantastic actually except that it has a sales banner up here for HTML Guardian I mean the sales banner is at the top of every one of the pages that you encrypt so if you don't have the pennies right now go ahead and use the free version until you've made a few sales of your products and then come back here and spend 40 or 50 bucks and then get the paid version uh, it's well worth the, the the cost so now then first off let's go ahead and check out the source page source and you can see this is just a basic page here now this one is encrypted folks and this is what it looks like after it's been encrypted. That's basically it. All the encryption stuff is at the top of the page right up in here. Kind of scroll through there. You can see all that gobbly goop up there. That's the payment button. Hard to tell, huh? But let's show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I've opened up my uh, web page here in my HTML editor which you know it's front page and if you scroll down here you can see it's basically the same thing I uh, got an image out of whack here but this is the payment button here and I'm in the preview section and let me go ahead and show you the HTML code here and this is the unencrypted version of that PayPal button I don't get too excited because this is the download link but it's not working I've kind of disabled that quite a bit but anywho if you do not have an unencrypted payment button somebody goes to the view source of your of their browser and they see this of your web page all they have to do is highlight this copy this put this in their browser go to your download page download your product without having to pay you anything so slap slap do not put an unencrypted payment button on your website at all boom now how we're going to do just we've got two options here we can encrypt the entire page which usually is not such a good idea um, or you can encrypt a portion of the page and in this particular example we're going to just encrypt the payment button and the payment button starts with the opening form tag and stops with the closing form tag. Now how do we encrypt just this section? Well HTML Guardian provides you with a lot of uh, manuals, documents on how to do different techniques with their software. But I'll go ahead and save you some reading. This little bit of code here, you put this at the beginning of what you want to encrypt. Maybe you want to encrypt the lower half of your web page. Well put this up to where the beginning of what you want to encrypt and then at the end of what you want to encrypt you put this little bit of code HTML G stop you can put this at the bottom of the page and this you know halfway up the page whatever you want to do sake of this example we're gonna put this at the beginning of the payment button and this at the end of the payment button so now then let's go ahead and since that's done let's go ahead and open up the HTML Guardian software and again this is the free version here it runs through a, a check of sorts and then once it's done and you can set it up to where it doesn't do this but yeah no big deal click to close so you just click anywhere and kind of move this over into the middle of the screen here now pretty simple um, this is right out of the box folks now let's go ahead and do the I'll show you the settings real quick here 
um, right out of the box none of these things are checked and it works fine not having any of these checked but just for the sake of example um, go ahead and disable right click um, let me see disable your this is pretty good here for if you've got uh, affiliate links or that you're selling affiliate um, products maybe through Clickbank or something this way here the URL does not display in the status bar that little thingy down at the bottom of the page and you can disable printing <clears throat> not a bad idea and disable clipboard and print screen keeps people from snagging your stuff basically um, so anywho with all this done go over here to optimization now this is pretty good too especially in my case since I'm working with the front page which typically from time to time has a tendency of throwing in some junk code and by this and again this is right out of the box optimize and clean up code before encryption no problem leave that checked and again you can you've got several options here you can work with so and when you get a chance to after you've downloaded yours oh and this one here can prevent some uh, hot linking too but again that's beyond the scope of this video a lot of options you can play with here you know you can check all these buttons out too, filters and so on but for the sake of this video uh, just those few little settings and again it works fine without having done what I just did but once you're here select file this is one I was working with you can single click and then click open or you can double click and click open and it pulls that uh, code into here as you can see scroll down here where are we at here um, where's my button where's my button where's that button at here we go HTML start so everything above this it's not going to encrypt and you'll be able to see that here in a second everything below this will not be encrypted and you'll see that here in a second so you select file pull it in here encrypt bing done and save now it automatically puts this in as a default underscore and the capital E so we simply save it then reset it so again select file encrypt save reset boom close it out now let me go ahead and pull up my front page again here and I need to refresh this so that uh, we're working with the right one here and F5 to refresh and this is the one that was just encrypted and the one that we were just working with and you can see here the underscore E you can check the preview out and this is the banner I was talking about here not that big of a deal you can put some verbiage up here if you want stating that your page is so secure and tight uh, by the nice folks at HTML Guardian go check them out at proware.com and like I said they may even have some kind of an affiliate program too you can earn a couple of bucks off of uh, but anyway this is the free version no big deal don't let it bother you but when you do get a couple extra bucks set aside to go buy their uh, enterprise version and go on down here and here's the payment button check out the HTML coding right up here is the encryption and scroll down here and this is what is left of the form the payment button now that it is encoded and folks that's how you can that's how you can encrypt either your entire web page or just a portion of your web page such as payment buttons or password protect buttons thanks again for watching folks and by all means when you get a chance go check out the nice folks over at html guardian at proware.com